everybody the lighting in my room in the morning is literally always the best and it's so early so today I'm going to be buying a new laptop I've got to go to the doctor to get a tuberculosis test done for like college in order to live in the dorms um, I don't know what else I'm doing, but I'm just going to bring you guys along with me for my day. And the reason I'm getting a new laptop is because, like, my laptop works perfectly fine. I love my laptop. I don't want to get a new laptop. But there's absolutely no space on there. And if you work with video, then you probably know that video takes up a lot, a lot of space. And so it's always really hard for me to do, like, school stuff and video stuff on my laptop because the space gets full. I can't save documents. I'm going to get a laptop that has a lot more storage. Since my laptop is perfectly fine, I'm going to give it to my mom. So I am just going to go get ready. I've just been sipping on my coffee, did my devotional, and then now... I'm going to go do a little bit of makeup. Okay, so I think I'm going to wear this outfit today. Um, I don't really know. Because I was just going to wear shorts and a t-shirt because that's literally like all I wear in the summer. But I was like, you know what, Jacqueline, you're filming and you're going to go get a laptop. Like, you're going out. You might as well dress up. Okay, I totally changed into this, what I would have originally worn. Um, I just, yeah. So, we are just now leaving. We're taking separate cars just because my mom has a doctor's appointment after this so she's gonna go there and then I'm gonna come back because I am speaking, I'm gonna put you there, because I am speaking at my small group for, um, just my small group for tomorrow night. Please tell me my mascara is in here. Then we're gonna go, no I didn't bring coffee. I think they've got a Starbucks at Kroger. Okay. Yum. Okay, we're just waiting here. And apparently the test takes like <clears throat> five minutes. Yay. Test, five minutes, that's it, that's good. <laughs> they glasses off. They love like you. A grandmother. You know that? They love no, I'm not you. even a grandmother yet. Yes. When, when is that gonna happen anyway? She says yet because my brother is married, okay? Let's, one of them is married, but we still have a while. That's okay, my niece is pregnant. Mm-hmm. So we look forward to that. Yeah, I'm going to the beach with them so you guys will see that. You'll do good, don't worry, yeah, honey. Just lay back. You'll do fine. We're gonna do fine. It's such a tiny little meal, I promise you. It, and it doesn't go in your muscle. Okay, so I am back from the clinic or whatever. And we thought it was just a scrape test, okay? Like they just scrape your skin and see. And because that's what my mom looked up and that's what they said it was. But then she walks in with a needle. And if you guys saw my last Q&A, I can't do needles. Like, no, needles are not a thing. Like I literally just pass out and I was like, well, crap. And so I took my sweater off. Like I was getting ready to put my hair up. And then I did find like she did it, I was okay, and then I just started feeling sick and I was like, uh-oh, and so next thing I know, everything starts happening again. I feel sick, I lose like my, I go completely white, they lay me down, I'm sweating. My shorts are soaked. I got up, the entire seat is soaking wet with sweat. So now my mom's inside getting groceries and I'm in my car. Um, because she's going to give me the groceries to take back home. But I stood, I just sat in there for like 15 minutes just like getting better again. But I just am so bad. And I don't know. I hate passing out. It's the worst feeling ever. And it just ruins my day. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm fine now. I'm a little bit better. So I just. Like, I went home after I passed out, and then I just chilled, worked on my little, like, I keep calling it a sermon, but I don't know what else you call it, for tomorrow night, and waited for my mom to get out of her doctor's appointment, and now I'm on my way to the Apple store. Walking in, there's my mom. So I got the computer, a free pair of Beats, and now we're eating lunch. We're gonna split a little um, bowl thing. <laughs> So before we get into the whole unboxing, because I've got to wait for my brother to get home so I can use his little like piece that goes in because now the new computer doesn't have a ton of like USB ports and stuff. 
I am going to make a vanilla latte with my little um, Nespresso machine. I love this machine and I just got my vanilla pods in the mail. Alright, so now my milk is frothing in this little machine and this is finishing up. Yummy, yummy. So this is the finished product. And then Emily walked, oh, it's super blurry, <laughs> hold on. And then Emily walked through the door. Wait, what is that? I'm trying to make a memory box thing, but I'm trying to stick it. <laughs> and it's just not working. Do you want like a plastic yeah. thing? So now the moment you've all been waiting for, um, it's time to unbox this baby. So I got a free pair of Beats since I'm a student. I chose to get these like small, Bluetooth ones, honestly, he was like, well, you can get, like, these were only 150 versus I could have gotten a $300 pair, but I was like, I don't want the $300 pair, I just want these. So, I could have gotten another $150 worth of Beats, but I was like, meh. Then, here is the MacBook Pro. Okay, time to open this baby up. Okay, so, I really was almost going to get the same one I have now, but just with more storage, the 2015 version, but... Um, only reason being because it has all those plugs on the side. Like, if you're a YouTuber, you know you need the SD card, a USB port, the charger, all those things all at once. So, I really didn't want to get this because, as you guys probably know, it has two, only two holes. And they're not even a USB hole. Um, but I just can buy the adapter thing, whatever, because this has the new processor, which is, like, super important. So this is what it looks like. I got the space gray one. I was gonna get the silver one, but I didn't just because of the fact that I've already had a silver one. I was like, I'll be a little bit different. So I did get the 500 and something gigabyte, um, which is a lot of space, but that's what I need. And wow, it feels really light. And I got the new, new one. So it has like the quad processor, something retina, something display. I don't know. I was like, just, just give it to me. This is what it looks like. It's very small and light compared to the one that I have now. I'm kind of nervous to open it, but um, I have to plug in my USB port before I even open it and start it up. Okay, so it is turning on. I've got this and this plugged up. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is like backing up my old MacBook to this one and it says it's gonna take a really long time. So I still have like two hours, three minutes. So I'm gonna pull out my other computer. I was snacking earlier, best stuff ever. But I'm gonna pull out my other computer and finish like my little sermon thing. I literally guys, like this is the time of day where I just need to take a nap. Like this is my nap time. And I just had a cup of coffee obviously, like the espresso so. I gotta get grinding. I don't have time for naps. Okay guys, so it is seven o'clock. I pretty much finished my like sermon thing. I just have to print off the papers and then like look over it, pray over it, whatever. Um, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I've gotta go pick up my cousin from track. You guys all know Abigail, the backpack girl. Um, in a little bit in about an hour but um i wasn't really going to share this with you guys but i thought hey you know what it would be awesome to have people praying um so i don't want to share a lot of information just because it's really personal but my grandfather is um in the hospital long story short had a stroke it's pretty bad um so we're gonna go visit him that's what my family's been doing that he's been in there for a while now so if you guys could just pray for him if you pray that would be so awesome and that would mean so much to me what i've been wanting to start doing is just having it be like a known thing that you guys are more than welcome to leave any prayer requests that you have in the description box down below because i've got a notes on my phone where i just have prayer requests for people and any small groups that i go to i write them all down and i just pray over the notes i pray specifically for those people and i think it would just be really awesome if we could start a community in the comments down below so if you guys have anything that you need praying for and even if it's so minuscule and you just minuscule minuscule i think that's how you say it even if it just feels so small and kind of like dumb it's not i promise and it's nothing that god can't handle either even if it feels really big so um yeah i think it'd be cool if we could start a prayer group together so that would be awesome if you guys would leave your request below and if you could pray for me and my family that would mean so much i truly love you guys you guys are seriously the best and yeah so i'm gonna end the vlog here and i will see you in my next video bye